In this video, we are developing a simple Mevis Lab application applying a pre-trained PyTorch ResNet AI model in less than 5 minutes. Add a Python image module to your workspace. This module will provide the resulting segmentation mask in the end. All pre-trained ResNet models expect input images normalized in the same way. Add a resample 3D and an image property convert module to your workspace and connect them to your Python image module. We need a macro module to add Python scripting to our application. Group the three modules and convert the group to a local macro module. Open the script file of your new module and add input and output. Make sure both types are defined as image. The output shall be taken from the internal module image property convert. You can also add some parameter fields you want to be able to define for your module in module inspector. We add a float value for the progress of the segmentation, an enumeration for the type of segmentation and a trigger button to start. Your module should now show input, output in the defined fields. Add a command section and define the location of your Python file. It makes sense to create an init function in Python where you can define what happens after reloading your module. Also add field listeners to react on clicking the start button, changing the category for the segmentation and in case the input image changes. Now it's time for some Python scripting. Create your Python file. Add the necessary imports for PyTorch and Mevis Lab and create a list of interfaces. Define a function init module. It shall reset the segmentation and define the interfaces from the Python image module for later usage. The reset segmentation always clears the output of the Python image module. All segmentations are reset. The function run segmentation shall always get the input image and run PyTorch on this image. We get the input image from the field in image, we define for the module. Time to run Torch. Using the given input image, we first get the tensor and define weights. Using the model, we call some basic PyTorch functions, update our progress in between, set the category to be used for segmentation as defined by our enumeration and define the image size and world matrix of the segmentation mask to the values of the original image. Now you can already try your segmentation. Add a local image module to your macro module and select a file to segment. Make sure to fit your category. Your output is a mask of the segmented object. Add a View2D module and ASO View2D overlay module to your workspace and connect them to your segmentation. The mask is shown as a semi-transparent overlay on your original image. For our final application, we need to create another macro module. Select all modules. Create a new group and convert the group to another local macro. Make sure to add it to a subfolder. Open the script file of the new module. We want to define the user interface of our application. We again need some parameter field to set the file from outside. Just use the existing field name of the local image module. Also add the start trigger and the category selection to the parameters section. The window of our application gets three boxes arranged vertically. The first is able to load a file, the second contains the 2D viewer and the third provides the possibility to select a category and start the segmentation. If you like, you can also add a progress bar and use the progress fields value. You are now able to load any image, select a category for your ResNet and the result of the segmentation is shown as semi-transparent overlay. Medislab allows you to reuse more than 3,000 modules for your imaging tasks and then define your own functionality by developing your own modules. In this case, we created an AI application using PyTorch in less than 5 minutes. Focus on your innovation and let Medislab do the rest. For further information, Please have a look at www.mevislab.de.